<laughs> I really don't know what to say. I, I just can't stop smiling. And, you know, thank God and thank everybody that supported me. And I, I found out that I'm not insane. Former Bremerton, Washington High School football coach Joseph Kennedy reacting to news that the Supreme Court ruled his practice of praying on the field after games was protected by the Constitution. Dissenting liberal justices on the court claimed Kennedy's prayers improperly incorporated his religious beliefs into a school event and had a coercive impact on students. But the conservative majority said Kennedy's post-game religious observance was protected speech during a time when he was no longer responsible for overseeing students. Panel, what's your take here? Did the firing of Coach Kennedy amount to government overreach or was it necessary to maintain the strict separation of church and state? Uh, a quick take from you, Bill King. Yeah, I, I think we've gotten carried away with this. Uh, look, I, I'm not a big fan of praying in public because I read Matthew 7 where Jesus says you're not supposed to do that. But if that's what somebody wants to do, then, you know, I think that's their decision. I think about, you know, the, you see how many of these uh, baseball players come off and do a cross or point up to the sky or something like that or kneel in the end zone. And look, I just you know, let people do what they want to do. I don't care what their religion is. Just let them do it. And let's just stop making such a big deal out of this whole thing. Yeah, Chow, you know, this can get really, really uh, complicated fast. What if somebody says that wearing a headscarf is, uh, you know, a coercive religious gesture? I, I, I understand what you're saying, but there is also a matter of separation of church and state. I mean, this coach is a representative of the public school, and he's doing it on public school property. Um, I think it's a really strong and, and, and dangerous message that, you know, there is no such thing as that separation of state in, in our country. And that, that is a, a disappointment and a terrible message to send. All right, tomorrow, take 20 seconds. That's the problem with uh, the schools right now. You took the Lord out and now you got the guns in because you took God out. That's the problem. Okay, Bob, go ahead. <laughs> there is such a thing as no separation of church and state. That is not in the Constitution. The Constitution says you shall not establish a government religion. A football coach praying on a sideline is not establishing a government religion, and he wasn't coercing people. Final word to Gary Pollan. Uh, my final word is amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. Uh, you, Bill, you think we're going to see more cases like this really quick? I, I don't know. Um, you know, it seems like to me we're kind of moving beyond this. I think this may be kind of a uh, a, uh, a a period at the end of this sentence, actually. All right, tomorrow, Bell. Uh, you, you think this is much do about nothing? No, I'm glad he won. I'm not kidding. I'm sick of that. People say they don't want you to read the Bible. How come that's not an attack of your religious freedom? I, that that is a problem for me. Okay, you don't want to pray with me. That's fine, but don't tell me I can't say thank you, God. Oh, you offended me. Leave it.